Okay, so in this video lecture, we are going to learn how to do two things. The first thing is finding the number of intervals, and the second is finding the class interval, which is basically the interval width. Okay, so to find the number of intervals, our formula is basically 2 to the power of k has to be greater than our number of data points. In this case, we know we have 50 data points, so we have to figure out 2 to the power of what number is greater than 50. I'm going to start with 2 to the power of 1. Is that true or false? Well, 2 to the power of 1 is just 2. That's not greater than 50, so we try a higher number. Let's say, for example, I tried 2 to the power of 3, which is again 8. Is that greater than 50? Not really. So we're going to keep going. 2 to the power of 5. Well, that's 32. We are getting closer, but again, that's not greater than 50. And last, let's try 2 to the power of 6, which is 64. So once we reach that first number that's greater than 50, we know that this value in our exponent is basically our number of intervals. So we can say number of intervals equals 6. Finding the interval width is not too difficult either. It's basically following another formula, and your formula is basically max minus min over number of intervals. Okay. In this case, our max is 140, our min is 88, and our number of intervals is 6. That is equal to eight point six seven, and the important thing we gotta remember is that we always have to round this number up. So in this case, I'm gonna round it up to nine. Okay, take a look at my next video to see a lot of examples on this topic, so you understand how to round numbers properly.